Hey everyone, it's Nick with Save Your Plant, and this is bringing you to my urban farm. So this is my backyard. You guys seen a lot of my videos. It's mostly front yard between the house and a garage and a wall, and yeah. And uh, for the most part, I've only done above ground stuff here, such as my hoop house. Uh, thanks to MHP Gardener, I learned a lot and I did a lot of experimenting. You know, in the space back here that seemed very impossible. It's pretty impossible. It's, it's a lot of hard work. Um, doing the hoop house and the Dutch buckets and the cracky setups and really kind of getting a, a good a good feel and being familiar with that type of, uh, you know, producing food is a very awesome thing to learn. Uh, but I've always been a in the earth, in the ground kind of person. That's how I do best. Uh, I guess, I, I don't know. But I definitely appreciate the knowledge, that's for sure. I, mean, I can really grow anything anywhere. <clears throat> so this is a motion censored uh, rain bird deal. <clears throat> Keep my cats from pooping in my fresh soil. But, uh... <laughs> It's nice, actually, kind of, you know, sprinkles everything. Um, yeah, my cats poop a lot in fresh soil. They just absolutely destroy it. Come out here and there's, like, huge craters. Just big holes dug and maybe one tiny, itty bitty little nugget of a turd. Right here I have potatoes growing, or planted as, as of right now. <laughs> uh, half of them are chitted, some of them are not chitted. Uh, I guess I'm from the farmer's market, purple heirloom potatoes. Just little tiny guys. I love those. So that's half back there in the front here. Home Depot, uh, red chitted tomato, uh, potatoes. All good. Uh, have one plot still to go. My back and my knees are just kind of, I'm getting old. Uh, this one here is not plants yet. It's going to be beets and a whole lot of carrots. Wife doesn't like beets, so the beets will be pickled. Maybe I'll pickle some of the carrots. Um, these two, also not planted. I don't know what to do with them. And the third one, I want to do coffee, but the coffee seeds I got did not germinate. Uh, they might come in. I don't know. I'm kind of losing hope on them. Uh, I planted some hibiscus seeds, and they took about two, two and a half weeks to germinate. <coughs> and some of them are still germinating, one at a time, slowly but surely. So I'm hoping maybe the coffee will kick in. I plant with my grapes. They're not looking so good. I don't know if I got enough roots when I uh, pulled them out. I was hoping to transplant them back here, but I don't think it's gonna. I have to wait until April. Fingers crossed they come back and wake up in April, or they're in super dormancy right now. Uh, the bananas, they actually did produce bananas, one of them. Uh, it's already chopped down. It was about as tall as that one. It's interesting, right before it starts producing the bananas, it puts out this odd, weird looking leaf. It's kind of, it doesn't look like the rest of the leaves. It's very different. So I'll know when the, these, you know, there's my finger. This one and this one, for sure next year will produce bananas. And they're really good bananas. Uh, so far I just have sugar snaps. Sugar snaps, sugar snap, snap, snap. That was all from the rock roll cubes. Sorry, that word always trips me up. It's kind of look like headstones, huh? Yep, go to heaven. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. That's just a reminder. Uh, as for next week, plan to get all this cleaned up, trim this back on down, all the way down, right there. Push it all on the neighbor's side. <laughs> neighbor's my in-law, so. Uh, and then about three feet out, all the way, super thick of corn. Uh, got some yellow corn, nice ear of corn from uh, someone from Ohio. So I'm gonna try that. They're, they germinate really well so far. And it's supposed to be uh, 15, 12 feet tall, 10, 12 feet. Uh, my bromes, dromeliads, dromeliads, philonopsis, all this is going to get cleaned up next week. All my bromes are going to go on this wall here. That is mu as pretty much as much sun as that site gets every single day. So it's not too much. It's not going to burn them. So all that's going to go over there. There's some redwood planks. Plank, 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 uh, just up against the wall, just a straight table pretty much for 
the stuff I like to grow and bring inside the house when it's flowering. So it'll be my indoor plant stuff, indoor scape, nursery, and succulents. Nah, I might, it's too shady for succulents. This I'm gonna take a chainsaw and just and it'll come right back. I've never done that. This has been planted here for six, seven years. And it's pretty old. It's a lot of the same stuff. I've probably, I've probably looked at this for the last three years, you know, the exact same one. So it's just old. It needs to be trimmed down and just, it'll come back. I'll use a lot of this as mulch just for layering it back, right back down on top after I cut it down. Cause then it'll come in like this, you know, nice young vibrant green <clears throat> it's cool as like, you know wife was like that thing is ugly I'm like it's absolutely gorgeous it has little yellow flowers and the whole thing was full of flowers should have taken a picture uh, this is a strawberry and a you know that then it's not growing uh, and compost tea this is definitely needed as I plant I water with compost tea and so this is some pantyhose and a beer because you need a beer when you have to ask hey where's the pantyhose it's next to feminine products oh yeah I know exactly where that is uh, where's that you know like I know <laughs> uh, in here in the sack is a uh, compost just regular you can pick any kind of whatever kind of compost you got you can come box store whatever you can even put manure in it if you want i do compost blood mill and bone mill the reason for the beer it weighs it down you see it's kind of floating around right now without that beer i think it just be and you have to aerate it definitely have to aerate it okay this this helps balance your bacteria you don't want things like e. coli or any of those scary things and this actually really helps also dechlorinates and circulates so that your compost tea is being spread out uh, you can see it's pretty brownish and this one over here this is just a dechlorinating station uh, so as this this one drops level as I use it up I'll take the water from that one top this one off and then add more tap water to that and just constantly let that um, ozone filtration system yeah I mean, we're in the backyard huh? shit <laughs> yeah, I'm getting fancy I'm just getting older so I'm starting to be a little bit cleaner with stuff I'm getting there plus my wife is being super helpful with me. Awesome smoker, dual fuel, uh, propane, or you could do charcoal. I haven't tried the charcoal yet, but you could do charcoal. I do propane, burner is underneath there, and wood chunks. It's a lot super easy. Did a 20 hour cook for Super Bowl Sunday. Had a uh, 12 pound, 12 pound uh, Boston butt. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. The shelves have some. I get those in there, but it's four shelves. 150 bucks at Home Depot. This is the best smoker. Get home from a long day and just toss on a, a, a what do you call a pork picnic. Done within five hours. You can get home and have a pulled pork. All right, that's it. I'm not gonna keep you guys go. I'll keep you guys up. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Save my plant. Ask if you have any questions. Ask your questions. And uh, if you live in Mar Vista or Southern California, you want to come here and check out the farm, you want to give me a hand, you want to learn something, totally, absolutely free, just let me know what day you want to come and be here. You can come in through the alley. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.